connection successful. Connection with an X. We are logging in. Update complete. Okay. Okay. It's working. Let's see if this works. Here we go. Did you download something like 10 minutes before? No, not today. I haven't downloaded anything today. Um, we are online. Okay, good. I'm going to exit again and I'm going to copy my character. So we'll sit here for just a second. I'm going to get my character over. Yes, yes. I'm aware. I give you access to run on my computer. Stop nagging me about it. Recaching. Okay, cool. So question is, which characters should I copy? Can you do multiples at a time? Is that safe? Hi, Stege. Very excited to see the news on the LI new class. Yes, me too. I'm going to copy shared items, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. No Bayorning Brawlers. Mm. Don't find out all the good stuff without me, though. <laughs> uh, okay, I think this is good. Move to Bull Roar. Next. Confirm. Copy. Yes. Congratulations. Let's play. The Yarnings already brawl with claws. They do. Like, they had the rah, 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 rah skill. I like that one. We are up, finally! Oh wait, did it not finish copying yet? I might have been logging on too quickly. Okay, let me try this again. I'll wait like a minute. <laughs> too eager. Too eager to, to log in now. Gauntlets are considered two-handed weapons. See if the transfer finished. Here we go. All right. Two minute timer hype turned into 14 minute timer hype, but 12 minute delay isn't too bad for a new content push. No, definitely not. I've seen worse. I am in. Have you guys gotten in as well? So we're going to hop on to my main. She's the one that I work the most on. The maelstrom? Oh, goodness. Where's this tavern you guys are talking about? Where Where should I be? At the moment with my character. Any tips? Did see any patch notes, although maybe they're not required. Um, there might be patch notes coming later. It's open to the public tomorrow. So you enter it from either Thorin's Gate or Archit. Okay, going to Thorin's next to the horse travel vendor. Okay, thanks. New deed, flickering flame. Your kinship has been disbanded. It's the first thing I'm seeing. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Midsummer. Okay, this is other things. So, I'm just gonna look. I'm guessing this is the old stuff. So, I'm assuming they haven't really changed much on the. Uh, the current things. Um, I 
Replacing is okay. Let's go to Thorin's. Oh, I don't have my plugins here. I don't even know if you can have plugins in uh, in in Bulrar. Should probably check out the patch notes. But are they up? Do we have patch notes? Uh, have they been posted yet? There we go. Here the patch notes are. Okay, let's go through the patch notes together. So. <clears throat> First preview of Brawler and Legendary items. This preview also includes some general changes from update 50.3. Uh, Brawler is a melee class conceptually based on the legend of Helm Hammerhand, who fought barehanded at one of the greatest sieges of Helm's Deep and was known for his savagery in battle. Brawlers forego weapons in favor of battle gauntlets and steel armor hurling themselves into battle to the benefit of friend and devastation of foe. The main focus for Brawler is the damage per second, off-tanking and support. Any race in Middle-earth can be a Brawler, except for Bjornings, which are their own race and class combination. Metal is the currency your Brawler uses to power attacks and other skills. Metal is built during combat and spent when you use your Brawler's most powerful abilities. All Brawlers have a passive ability called Combat Flow, which increases the damage done of your skills for each point of metal you have. Gauntlets. Instead of the traditional weapons of combat, your brawler wields battle gauntlets and defeats enemies with punches, slams, kicks, thrown items, and more. Only brawlers can wear battle gauntlets in combat, and these items will appear throughout the game world as you level. Gauntlets are considered two-handed weapons. Traits. The brawlers have two trait trees to specialize in, along with a third general trait to provide additional flexibility and benefits. The Fulcrum, blue line. The Fulcrum focuses on defense and debuffs and offers ways to increase your vitality, lower your enemy's attack speed, buff your critical rating, and more. The Maelstrom, red. The Maelstrom focuses on the chaos of battle to increase damage, dealt, and more. This offense-focused trait tree increases your critical chance, setup skill damage, might, and acquisition of metal. The Fundament, yellow. Fundament is not a trait tree that can be specialized into. Rather, this tree offers benefits that complement both the Fulcrum and the Maelstrom. Spending points into the Fundament offers benefits such as increased metal generation, enemy debuffs, and hitting more targets with your area of effect skills. Brawler can be accessed from the character select screen. Legendary items. New weapons or class items of legend are available for barter from legendary weapon class items vendor in the eyes and guard crafting area. Enter and turn right with ancient script, which is purchasable from the same vendor. Items are base item level 51 and you must be level 50 to equip them. Take those items to a forge master and reforge them to scale them to the level your character is. Note, you must currently rename the item in order to reforge it, and there are some odd naming restrictions at the moment. In my experience, just naming it a single letter works. Once you have a weapon class item that is scaled to your level, you can go back to the LI 3.0 area in the crafting hall and pick up traceries. There are currently four types of traceries. Heraldric traceries are basic stat buffs and will eventually alter the damage type of the weapons, so kind of like a title. Currently, only one heraldric tracery may be slotted per item. Word of Power traceries are more specialized traceries that fit into the role you are filling with that weapon or item. This includes damage and healing styles, AoE, single target, hot stots, as well as avoidance, incoming damage, morale increase, and some utility options. Induction speeds, range extensions, AoE targets. Currently, two Word of Power traceries may be slotted per item. Word of Mastery traceries are class-specific traceries most closely resembling legacies from the original LI imbued LI systems. Currently, six Words of Mastery traceries may be slotted per item. Word of Craft traceries are genetic, generic single stat increases. However, it has been stated that the set bonuses will be attached to these Word of Crafts in the future. Currently, three Word of Crafts may be slotted per item. Note the third World of Craft slot is still locked after reforging. Enhancement runes. These are not traceries, but are used to increase the item level of a slotted tracery. 
This would be used for an item that is built at one level cap, and then reforged for the next level cap and then increased the item level of the traceries. This does not increase the rarity from one color to the next, just the item level. Currently, tracery effects can be stacked, however, exclusively, exclusivity is expected in the near future. UI design as well as UI showing if multiple of the same tracery are slotted and therefore only one would be will would being applied or coming. Last thing of note is that a number of legacies that previously gave damage and critical damage have been rolled into the word of power style traceries. For example, captains no longer have bleed critical damage legacies as that would fall under the damage over time criticals. This may be a buff or nerf for various classes, so feedback is very important. Whew. Okay. We will have more information and new threads for our public preview, which begins tomorrow. We will post when the world is open. Excellent. Okay. This is good. Now, what is a tracery? We will go check them out. I'm gonna get my butt to Thorin's Hall. Uh, if I can by my travel skills. Uh, do I have any travel skills at the moment? Where are my travel skills at? Do I not have travel skills? Return to... Well, we can go there from... Here we go. Um... Let's just go to Bree, I guess. No, Court of Lothlorien. We'll, we'll go there. <laughs> Would you like a magic teleport? <gasps> Can you do that, MVP? I would love a magic teleport. Yes, please. Hands off the keyboard. <laughs> You're gonna need to click the sell all button. Uh, no. <laughs> I am going to sell a bunch of the stuff in my inventory though. I realize that I don't need it here, but... It's gonna be hard for me, okay? It's gonna be hard. I'm magically teleported. Thank you! Oh my goodness, I have never been in here. We have training dummies. And... MVP! Is this you? <gasps> this is you, isn't it? Relic and Forge Master, Scarecrow. Hi! <laughs> Eat me! Excellent. Ooh. Money. Funtus? Gold allowance. I don't know what this is. This allowance is only available once a week, so spend- Oh, he gives me 250 gold. Thank you. Very generous hog. <laughs> Legendary weapons and class items. Okay, so let's browse the shop. Here we go. Here we have traceries. An ancient script. Okay, how am I going to do this? It's a piggy bank. That's exactly what it is, Mitopian. <laughs> it's hilarious. All right, MVP, thanks so much for the help. Um, we will check out these things. I need to sell stuff. Is there a regular vendor? Fishing supplier. How may I, help you today? I can sell my stuff here. Oh, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to sell the things, but I, I know I should. I just need space. MVP is a brawler. She's uh she's a Bjorning right here. At least it looked like the Bjorning uh icon. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do auto sort so I can find things. Alright, so here's the forge. Barter items. Here we go. So you need fifty Ancient scripts. Legendary weapons. PG1. 
item level 51. They're all... Oh, it's just page. Pages. That's what it is. Enhancement runes. Okay. Let's see where minstrel stuff is. Page four, I assume. There we go. Bjorning. She is a brawler. Oh, they currently use the Bjorning icon. Aha. Let's inspect her. She's a brawler. Armor is might vitality. Mitigations. Physical mastery. Okay. Critical rating, things like that. Some fun golden shoes. Set items. Okay. Let's buy some things. Let's buy about... Uh, hold on. Did I just buy way too many of those? Yeah, I did. Okay. No, no matter. <laughs> Page four. How are you doing, Chromite? If you would like to, we could, we could sit and chat in Discord if you would like to guide my hands to what you want to look at first. I don't know if you have early access. You might already have it. So you can see for yourself. Class items, but then we could have like a, an open discussion if you like. She's using level 115 essences in her gear. Uh-oh. Enhancement runes. Enhances one of your traceries. Drag this onto the tracery you wish to enhance. You're no one special, so no, no early access. Yeah, everybody could sign up for it. Everybody could sign up for it, but if you would like to, I'm going to sit in shiny chat and, um, let's see. And we can have a look together, if you like. You now have additional questions. <laughs> Hi, Thandalon. Hi, Chromite. Guineas, thanks for the follow. Public release isn't far away, is it? No, it's going to be live tomorrow. Enhancement what, rooms, 121. What do you mean everybody could sign up for it? Uh, it was posted in... I think the Lotro Wiki Discord or something. Who's in that? <laughs> And also on the, on the, of course, the Slack for the Lotro stream team, but, wow. uh... You have to be a Lotro stream team to be able to see that. Yeah, but, um, it wasn't in some Discord. Fo Foyer, where did you see it? Because Foyer signed up for it. She had it as well. But yeah, I, I was kind of thinking that they would, uh, the wiki, people could sign up. Okay. So I guess yeah, it I guess. was it was a, an offer for special, for special special people only. Yeah, people working on the Lotro Wiki, etc. Plus streamers, I guess. Okay, I didn't realize. But we can look at things here. So I have bartered for one of each of these Chromite streams. This is true. Hi, Scaper. Don't you dare guide her hands anywhere inappropriate. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna reforge... ...these. You cannot do that, it says. Interesting. Are you following the instructions to do that? Uh, I thought I was. I thought I should just change the name. That's it. I forgot. Yeah. I forgot about that part. 
Thank you guys for holding my hand. I'll start with the club. Uh, that just moved my... It may not be slotted in the same LI window. Hmm. Well, how do I rename it then? Um, just reforge it. So in, oh, in, in there the, it is. Derp. Yeah. yeah. Hello. <laughs> in the reforge window, you can rename it. There it is. Okay, so club. There we go. And then we'll do dagger. <laughs> And then I'll do mace. And book. And sword. One of each, huh? <laughs> I don't know what to look at, so we're just experimenting. <laughs> Okay, so basically you're you're left with an item that has a whole bunch of empty slots and you're supposed to build it yourself. Mhm. Mm what about cosmetics? Well, you could just preview them to see the cosmetics. They're probably not going to be anything special. Yeah, they're not they're not special at all. No. Okay, kind of the same as before. I mean, it really doesn't matter because you can use cosmetic weapons anyway. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then there are the traceries. Um, so they have different icons for all of them. I'm assuming these icons will be replaced eventually because they're looking kind of wonky at the moment. But if you look here... Um, at the slots. Let's see. Did it even? The slots kind of indicate like the the ones with the minstrel instrument is class specific. I think. Yeah, I believe so. So question is. Yeah, twelve slots to fill. And all of these have a basic. Okay, so slightly different stats. But mostly tactical damage on all of them. It's just that swords have parry chance 1%. That's normal. So it's the same. And daggers mm -hmm. have auto attack critical hit chance 1%. Yeah. And sadly, they'll still probably have all different attack speeds. Because all weapons have different attack speeds still. Hmm. Okay, so what's the next thing I should do? Uh, uh, so the... Uh, slotting the traceries? The, start from the top, yeah. Cracked Gondorian tracery. Um, yeah, find out what, what all of these traceries are first. So there's heraldic traceries, word of power traceries. Hmm. And mastery traceries, word of craft traceries, and enhancements. Moves. Okay. So, what do the tooltips say? Um, well, these are these are these are um, yeah, these are level-based traceries. So, see how they're they're going from uh, expansion yeah, pack to one hundred and one. Yeah, there's some echo acrobatics because I have them on speakers. I don't know why my, my microphone is picking up all the noise now. It used to be pretty good. Let me know if it's a little bit better now, guys. Shattered. In a hole at the bottom of the sea. That's where chromite is at the moment. 
may need to barter them elsewhere. So I might need to actually bring these to a different place. Like these ones. Shattered tracery may be traded with the scholars of the archives of Rivendell for incomparable traceries that may be engraved upon your legendary ah, items. Ah, these are barter items. Okay. So you may need a stack of things to, to get. Yeah. So get, get like... Uh, however many you can get for the Gundabad ones, because you're going to want max anyway. Although, they those might be level 140. <laughs> Wait, no. I didn't mean to get a stack of those. Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Fentol! Damn you. You're going to need a level 131, as you're not 131 yet. Oh, that's true. Get the, it's, what is it, Morgul or, or um... Morgul, Kaza Doom is 50. Thillion is 106. Morgul. Ironfold is 116. Morgul. Morgul is 121. Yeah, that goes from 121 to 130, basically. Uh, okay. Gundabad goes from 131 to... 140, I would assume. Because you did get a Gundabad one, right? I got like a thousand and one Gundabad ones. Because <laughs> <laughs> I misclicked. <laughs> oh. Cracked Morgul Tracery. Okay. I have some of those now. Okay. Um, so there's a shattered one and a cracked one. Morgul traceries. Yeah, I have cracked Morgul traceries, fragmented Morgul traceries, and. So there's three of them. Hmm. Uh, which one am I missing? Cracked. Where did you see a shattered, fragmented? This one. Where did they? Where'd you get the fragmented one from? I don't see it in the list here. Oh, okay. Uh, naming error. It's called Fragmented Morgul Traceries when uh, you buy it. The shattered one. I see. Um, where, do we, where do we report bugs? <laughs> report errors. <laughs> okay. Oh. And if you're going to barter for enhancement runes, we can get some of these. Uh... And these take 50 of the ancient scripts for a tier 12 enhancement rune. Enhances one of your traceries. And it's just so got this, different rarities. These are scrolls of empowerment, basically. Yeah. That's what these are. How many should I get of these? Don't know. Or maybe these are like starlit crystals then. But in each tracery is is you know can be upgraded like a starlit crystal with a starlit crystal. Ancient scripts is accepted as a currency by the scholars of Archives of Rivendell, who will aid you in engraving powerful traceries upon a legendary item. So these ancient scripts is something that you'll be gathering a bunch of them. Somehow. Okay, I'm just going to bring a few of these. I'm seeing a lot of grind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious to how this will transfer to your existing items. It won't, from what I understand. Heraldric traceries. Basically, you can keep the existing items, existing allies, and use them at the same time. There's been no word of trading in, whatever. No. Here, level 121, rare, legendary. If we look at legendaries, you need 200 ancient scripts plus a 
cracked Morgul tracery to barter for one of these heraldries here, which are the... Okay. Look at the tooltips of the, the heraldry, see what you want. Here's the heraldry of the sparrow, uh, which goes for hunters, agility, vitality, physical mastery, probably for... Agility classes. Heraldry of the Ox. Let's go to the tier 12 one. Might, Vitality, Physical Mastery. Heraldry of the Eagle. Will, Vitality, Tactical Mastery. Uh, Heraldry of the Serpent. Agility, Vitality, Physical Mastery. Wait, wasn't that the same as the Sparrow? It was. Okay. Heraldry of the Lion. Might, Vitality, Physical There's Mastery. There's different, different uh, stats, I believe. So, Tooltip, the Heraldry of the Serpent. And then Tooltip, the Heraldry of the Sparrow. And compare them. They're different stats. Oh, yeah. A different... Uh, one has more Vitality. Mm-hmm. Okay. Defensive oh, agility. Defensive and offensive agility. agility. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. They look to be fine on acquire. Uh, the heraldries are. The scripts are bind to account. So. I'm hoping the scripts are not going to be an item that's in your inventory. I'm hoping it's going to be a currency in your wallet. You have them in your inventory right now, don't you? Yeah, I do. 150 of them. I'm just hoping that they will change. Change it to be... Uh... I'm going to guess those things come from, like, instances or whatever. Instances and raids and whatnot. Yeah. And they probably won't go into the wallet because they will be tradable. So they'll have a timer on them when you do an instance and get them out of a chest. Oh, okay. And you'll probably be able to trade them to people. Yeah, I I'm see going. What you mean. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just assuming, of course. Assuming, yeah. All assumptions. Uh, because not see. everybody got invited. <laughs> and then we have these Word of Crafts traceries, which have plain stats on them, like physical mastery. Block rating, critical rating, evasion. Oh look, there's minstrel traceries all the way down the on the left hand side there. Go look at your minstrel ones. That's more interesting than stats. Which ones? All the way to the left. The the bookcases all the way to the left. Oh. Here we go. Class ones. You know what? I'm just gonna buy a stack. Here we go. Anthem duration, rally cooldown, minor ballad damage, piercing cry damage, major ballad healing, perfect ballad damage. So let's tooltip pick all of them. Your, pick a sword as a new weapon, and we're gonna set it to be a DPS weapon. Right. Okay. So get a barter for a piercing cry damage one. Piercing cry. Yes. Question is, do you... Oh, you're a levelist. Oh, I picked the wrong one. I need to find the tier 12 ones. Oh, there's many pages. Yeah, yeah. use the drop down. I'll go to the legendary one. Here. Toss this. Uh, piercing cry damage. That could only be applied to my book. Yeah, make sure you look at tooltips. Word of mastery, minstrel. Uh, 
My book is item level 445. The sword. Maybe it's because I equipped it. Maybe that's why. Nope. Still doesn't show up. Okay, so they have made it specific. Hi, Thendalon. We are previewing the new changes on Bullroar, checking out the new ally system. And uh, after looking at that, we're going to go check out the new Brawler class. They didn't say that there was a UI for the new thing, right? No, uh, they said in the patch notes that it might come later. Okay. Okay, so Call of Orome and Irindil damage, you want that. Call of the Second Age damage, Call of Fate Critical Multiplier. This one. Still only the book showing up. Yeah, looks like they're isolating them to the book. That's really interesting. Uh, does the sword, when you look at the sword, does its tooltip show you um, class-specific stuff? It uh, does. Slot? Yeah, hmm. it has the instruments on them. Do you have, you You do have the sword equipped, right? Yeah. Not now, I took it off because I thought maybe that was messing with equip, it. Equip the sword. Yep. And then... I haven't equipped the book, but the book is showing up. Hmm. That's really interesting. So there's no information about... Uh, no, what type know. of weapon you need to use it on. Yeah. It's a... It doesn't say socket type either. That's like a text yeah. that seems to be missing at the moment. Yeah. But yeah, call to fate, critical multiplier. Oh, that also gives critical rating. Interesting. Look at the tooltip for your sword. Look at the very last slot. It's got a lock on it. Oh yeah, it does. Um, it said something about that. The last one would be locked. I'm guessing that unlocks once you get okay. level capped. It said in the patch notes. Okay. Maybe because your sword is level 50 and your book isn't. My... Tooltip your book. It's minimum level 50, but it's item level 445, which is the same as the book, as far as I know. I'm gonna check the weapons again, see if I missed something. Maybe I picked the wrong weapon. Did you upgrade the book? No, haven't done anything to the book. Okay, because wasn't there something that you're supposed to do to upgrade the level? The enhancement runes are for the, the traceries. Um... And there's only, okay, so there's only one thing that you can get there. All right. But the book isn't here. Where did I find the book? Well, that's legendary weapons. I found weapons that under legendary four. class items. Yeah, there you go. Found it here. Hmm. All of the start level 50 reforge scales them up to your level. Right, so maybe I missed. Reforging one of them. We'll check that. Item forge, reforging. Maybe I need to reforge it more. So the sword. It just says you cannot do that. Book is also there. So just try to rename it. Sword A, Sword B, you know, when you try to reforge. Okay. Just Still keep reforging. Still doesn't show up. B. Try to see if you can reforge the, the sword again. Yeah, I did. Yeah, sword A, there you go. Okay. A. 
Just keep reforging it. Yep. Still kind of says the same stats. Um, but look at so to, leave the the current sword tooltip up, but now tooltip the sword after it's been reforged. So tooltip the new sword. It's exactly the same. Yeah, even the tactical damage rating is the same. Okay. Yeah. The item level is the same. Hmm. All right. Don't know. So do they plan to get rid of the second and first stage weapons? Um, the They're ones going to I... have them side by side when they release. They will eventually be um, removed, from what I understand, the second ones. Can you slot any of the other items? Let me try bartering for something else from the minstrel traceries. McVegan mm -hmm. pants. Um, there's no indication um, for class specific heraldries or whatever traceries. What which uh, item they can go into, like book or weapon? Is there this, any indicator for that? This is just says word of mastery, the socket type. It says word of mastery. I don't know what that translates to in terms of. What my sword has. So let's look. Rare page. So these are the ones that I can barter with the cracked Morgul traceries. Let's try. Healing, triumph, and spirit cooldown, call to IRS cooldown, a critical multiplier bonus. That seems like something I should be having. Uh, McVegan Pants, we're trying to figure out with, for these traceries here, which, legend, or which new legendary item they can go on. The book or the sword, um, a class I... item or a, a weapon. Yeah, There's no when indicator I to on their tooltips. Only the book shows up? And none of the weapons that I have in my inventory for at least the two ones that I've bartered for so far. So Okay, so it's not working then. She says either there's no difference. Okay, so that's a bug then maybe? Maybe because I reforged it without renaming it renaming it the last time. I'm gonna barter for a new one. And see if I just made a mistake there that made it not work. You can't have the same class tracer on both items. I haven't been able to put anything on my sword. Yeah, she's just trying to get put stuff on her sword, her weapon. And the uh, the class traceries are not showing as able to be put on her weapon. So I'm bartering for a new sword. I'm going to reforge it. Test. There. It looks the same as my other one. And still only the book shows up as a possibility when I try to equip Call of Aura Man Arendel damage. Or piercing cry damage. Open your equipment panel, drag your ally to the essence thingy with the flame icon, okay? Socket control. Okay, here I can see them. This is a word of mastery, so technically I have six slots to put this in. But it doesn't show up. 
So drag and drop into that. Ah, it sparkles when I pick it up. For sure you want to add Call of Orame and Arundel damage to A. Okay, here we go. So there's currently an issue where if you just yeah. right click them, yeah. not all the weapon types will show up. But we can do it this way. That's fine. Okay, yeah. cool. Thank you. Just as long as we understand that there's a bug. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we want that, and we want the piercing cry damage on there. And this is how they monetize. Yeah, you may know the bug, but you gotta tell the testers about the bug too. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the thing. It's, here. it's a good thing you're here to answer the Be questions. Be proactive. It's good. <laughs> okay. Um, what else do we want on here? Um, um, just look at your your normal. Um, Ally. ally and just get the the same things you know call to fate critical multiplier you know all that stuff all the good stuffs minor ballad damage yes definitely need that and you'll one. need uh perfect ballad damage as well perfect ballad. Oh, the, you, you know the other uh, yeah the other thing that we need to check or test is weapon swapping to see if you can yeah. swap your weapon in combat. So you have yeah. to attack a, a dummy and then try to swap. Yep. Unslotting with mithril coins. Yeah, I hope there's going to be a Well, that, that's the default. That. Yeah, that's the default UI. And, and just it's the same default UI as in. Um, this is used for essences at the for moment. For essences, so, yeah, yeah. It's in that one. So there is probably going to be a. Uh, a reclamation UI. scroll yeah. that you can remove stuff on. Maybe maybe we'll finally get used for the, all those reforged scrolls, those uh, things that have been hanging around in my vault for so long. <laughs> Although probably what? not. Reforged scrolls? What? Those um, things that you always get when you decon legendaries. Like oh, resetting no, that, the... that's resetting the points. That's for yeah. the old LI system. That won't be used in this. Yeah, you can hope. <laughs> Let's see. Target resist chance. Call to war skills. This one. That one also has finesse on it. That's nice. That's new. Um, believe the block on weapon swapping is not in this build. Okay. okay. We'll, t we'll test it afterwards anyway. Let's see. Call to fate, critical multiplier. Call the second age damage. Mm. Yep. That one's here. Also gives will. And definitely call to fate, critical multiplier. You definitely want that. Call to fate, critical multiplier. I think I got that one, or did I not? Not yet. No. So McVegan Pants, yeah. the the block, as you say, to weapon swapping is is it a um, a block completely, so you can't weapon swap, or is it like uh, trait line swapping, where you have a thirty second cooldown before you can swap weapons again? Because this is going to cramp a lot of people's play style, especially mine, because I swap a lot of LIs to to heal and whatnot. Hey, Tyrandus. Look at the stat stacking, yeah. You can't swap while your character is in combat mode. Okay. Thank you for verifying that. Let's see, piercing, we have... One, two, three, four, five, six... Which one am I missing? I've got minor ballad damage, Call the Did second you get perfect, age. Perfect ballad damage. Um, no, but that's not on my current one either. Yeah, but remember, I told you it should be. Do you need to replace right. Will? Okay, but then there's one of these that I'm not getting. 
because I have seven legacies on my weapon, so I have to ditch one of them. So am I going to pick perfect battle damage or the other one that I have not put on yet, which is call to fate, put critical call multiplier. To call to fate, critical multiplier. Okay, so perfect battle damage will yield yeah. for now. Yeah, that's not as essential. Call to fate, critical multiplier but, but also gives you, critical rating. You'll be able to put that on your book, I bet, though. Oh yeah, probably. Because that was one of the things is that there weren't a lot of um, class DPS skills for the minstrel for the book. So yes, we know Thandalon, but um, we, as you can see, I have seven legacies on my old weapon. So even though I will replace Will with Perfect Ballad, there's no room for it on the new legendary weapon. Uh, Mutopian, you can barter those at uh, Harndirion in uh, Enidwaith. You can also barter them in um, Mirkwood, Southern Mirkwood, at the uh, the vendors there. You can also barter them in Moria. You also get them as rewards for certain quests as well, legend yeah. or epic book quests. Okay, let's look at the heraldric traceries again. Because we have one spot for a heraldric tracery. Let's see what goodies we have there. 121. I'm, I'm just going straight for the legendary just to see what the best yeah. stuff that we can get is. So... There's Heldry of the Lion, which is Might, Vitality, Physical Mastery, Heldry of the Serpent, Agility, Vitality, Phys Okay, these are just stats and masteries. Okay, yeah. so just... Will, Vitality, compare... Tactical Mastery. The Heraldry of the so, Eagle is the one that I want. Yeah, well, hang on. There may be two. Remember, like, there was two for Agility, so look yeah, for I, one. Yeah, that... I already looked at all of them earlier. Is there, are there two of the Wills? No. There's only one of the Will? There is only an Offensive Will. Are you certain? Of the tier 12 ones on this page, yes. The other ones, it seems only one page. I can go to Heraldric Incomparable. Then it's just slightly lower stats. The Eagle is still the one that I want. Yeah, there's only one. Heraldry really of the Eagle. Are you sure? <laughs> so, I'm getting that one. Putting it in the sparkly spot. And then we have two words of power. Which we can get over here. Legendary. Here there's two pages. Is that your old ally at the right? Yes, it is. This is my old ally. Which is not perfect, by the way. Don't by any means look at that for reference of what's what's best now. Does the ally grow now? I think it levels up with you as before, yes. Does a warden's weapons taste of spearmint? Oh gosh, Skybird. AoE target increase? For a mini. Um, area effect attack criticals. Area effect attack Does Thandalon not know that minstrels have AoE skills? They We're talking about a DPS uh, build, Thandalon. And uh, minstrels have excellent AoE. And yes, it will, Skybird. It will be hands on. Very handy. So okay, so heal. remember, remember, you're gonna want uh, one for your book too. So let's. Yeah. Should I also pull the book up at the same time here, perhaps? 
You can only have one item up for socket control at the same time. So I'll do the sword first yeah. and then we'll do the book. Yeah. So get get your let's um let's look at your heraldries here. Area uh, effect word, word of powers. Attack critical. This gives critical rating, area effect, attack crit chance, area effect, attack crit magnitude. Might be interesting. Area effect, attack damage is a physical and tactory mastery rating plus area effect, attack damage. So there's a target count, critical is attack damage, base morale, more block chance, damage over yeah. time. Plus okay, four so you, area effect, target count. Yeah, you don't need damage over time stuff. Scroll down, no. let's, um, let's look at what's further down below. Evade, healing over time, incoming heal, parry. Partial block, partial block negation. Okay, I'll look at the other page. Partial evade. Uh, parry, parry. Incoming damage reduction. Ranged attack extension. So you can get further range on your skills. Oh, interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. You wouldn't. You wouldn't want that for a minstrel because you're already like the the furthest. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You have the best range of out of any classes. But with plus 11 more. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's going to be pretty far. You can reach far with your voice then. Single target attack criticals. 5% single target attack crit chance. 22% single target attack crit magnitude. Okay, so single target damage. Yeah. Single thing. target attack damage. 22%. Oh my gosh, these things are powerful. Yeah. Remember, I'm looking at the legendary ones, so all the gold stuff. Yeah. Which is the best stuff that you can get at the moment. Okay, so um, get both single target um, a, a criticals and attack damage. Get those. Yep. Plop them on. Yeah. And then... Lastly, there's two words of craft slots. So where do you get those? Here. Right next to it. So, legendary. Uh, empowered blades is physical mastery. Empowered block is block rating. Empowered destruction is critical rating. 16,000 rating. Evade, parry. Wizardry is tactical mastery. Block, evade, parry. So there's empowered and basically exemplary. essences. Yeah, and... They have different names, but they give the same type of stats because you're supposed to not put the same one in twice. As far as I remember from the patch notes. So you have also Ascended Flame, Tactical Mastery. Ascended Frost is Finesse. Ascended Light is Outgoing Healing. Ascended Lightning is Critical Rating. Perfect precision is critical rating. So there's just like multiple names for them because you're supposed to put several of them into your weapon, even though they give the same stat. That's if I've understood weird. correctly, okay. I need to buy more of those scrolls. There. Okay, so do we go for tactical mastery or crit? I'm currently at. 626,000 critical rating. So I'm Let's thinking maybe... Go. What's your mastery at? 635,000. You go for mastery, of course. Tactical mastery? Yep. Okay. Get two, two of the different tactical mastery ones. Oh, there are so many pages here. Empower... Okay, hold on. There. Let's make sure... Yeah, yeah, this is the one. Physical mastery, block, destruction is critical rating. Wizardry is tactical mastery, 15,000. One of these. Next one. Willpower is tactical mitigation. Resistance, accuracy is finesse. Healing is outgoing healing. Precision is critical rating. Flame is tactical mastery. So we'll get one more of these. I need another cracked Morgul tracery. 
extract more gold tracery. Flame tactical mastery. Okay. My tactical mastery is now 666. Hover over Cry of the Wizard skill and look at the, the range of it. 10 meters. Uh, no, the range of it. Oh, 45. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to see. So there are three skills that minstrels have that have that range, 45 meters. Piercing Cry. The fist, upward fist one, too. Whatever that is. Cry the Valor. That also has 45 meters. Yeah. Hmm. Only uh, guardians have a skill that is as far reaching, but it's not damaging. It's a mark. What's the set bonus on the Ascendant Flame there is no, Tracery? No yeah, set bonuses. No set bonus. These are just um, basically essences. They're, yeah. they're, es they're almost exactly like essences here. So they're just stats, looking at ratings. My weapon now, this is what you can see. You can see all the stats. So you can close the socket control window for the weapon. Yeah. And can tool tip this. Why don't you rename it as well? Yeah. Rename it DPS. Uh, yeah, just DPS, I guess. I can't slot. Do I have to reforge it again then? Just to rename? Oop, I have a raid. I'm gonna have to jump out. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, no worries. <laughs> Good luck. All right. Let's see. Forge. I reforge my A here to be DPS. Sword. There. Now that it's just to name it something else. Don't leave. The drones need you. <laughs> There was a one four on the weapon itself, though, in the socket control. Let's let's see that again. Uh... Aha! Yes, because you can upgrade your traceries. So ascendant flame. So you have these ones. The enhancement runes. So, oh, you don't have any valid items to use that on. Maybe I can. I can use this on these things. So you have the enhancement runes that you can barter for, as well. Enhancement runes. These ones. I should just get rid of the other ones. Um. Because I just want to use the best ones. But this. If I use this on the Ascendant Flame. Are you sure you want to replace Ascendant Flame with Enhancement Rune? Wait. Replace? No. Enhance one of your traceries. Drag this onto the tracery you wish to enhance. Okay, so I trust you. Fifth. Okay. It still says one out of four. I'm wondering. Um, how many times you can do this? Twice. Or a two, okay. Or a three. Or a four. Or five. Seems to be uh, some 
Lots of potential for how much you can increase it, but does it say the cap somewhere? Should we try until it stops? I don't know how many levels you can you can get out of these, but That's a lot of ancient script you need. Cap right now is 445. Oh, please tell me I can do multiple of these at a time. I can't. <laughs> New empowerment scrolls. Yep, that's what they seem to be. The enhancement runes are now the new empowerment scrolls. 445. What about the Ascendance of Flame? One out of four. Try another tracery. Yes. How about the Heraldry of the Eagle one? We'll increase all of the ones. Okay. That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff to upgrade. I'm curious to how hard these ancient scripts will be to get. That will play a big part, like if you need... If the level cap currently is 445, then yes, you need 45 of these scrolls for each of the traceries. Seems like a lot. Seems like a lot. Okay, so... Um, what else? Oh, Andang is here! <laughs> oh, ancient script wave! <laughs> uh, let me try that again. Hi, Andang. Hi, Leeways. Welcome. How are you? <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, doing math. Are you doing math now? Is it theoretically possible slot fate in all the 12 slots? I don't know. Uh, no, you cannot. You cannot slot fate in all of them. You need the specific uh, traceries. For each type of slot. If you look at my book, my book is completely fresh. You have one heraldric tracery, which means you can pick one of the traceries from here. So you need to choose one. Choose one of these. But for, for lore master, it's gonna be easy. It's, it's gonna be only one you want. You want the heraldry of the eagle, because it's got will, vitality, tactical mastery. There is no fate one. <laughs> Anna is currently having a mental collapse due to the nature of these changes. <laughs> oh goodness. It would be fun to just co-stream some of these changes just to chat with, with some other um, people who have very strong opinions about these legendary items. Like, uh, yeah. You need to get a hold of the traceries items. The tracery items have, as far as I can see, four different... Uh, hold on, no. Let's go here. So, so the new system. Oh, I can't sort, but the gold text ones... Oh, all of these are gold, never mind. Oh yeah, yeah, there we go. But you need to look at the levels for these. Level 101, 131 is going to be too much. 121 is the one that we're looking to get. So the Cracked Morgul Traceries, which 
I have the wrong type here. Hold on. Can't do it. I can't delete this. Okay, I need these though. Cracked Morgul Traceries. Don't know, team. I'm smelling a very large amount of horse manure regarding this. We'll see. Uh, Musical, yes. Bulwar is currently only available to certain people um, for an early preview today. Wait, is that Bloodborne? That's Bloodborne. It must be. <laughs> that must be Bloodborne. Yeah, Bulwar will be open to the public tomorrow. So everyone will be able to look at this tomorrow. <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, did he just die from the dummy? <laughs> What's going on? Can you sweep over the warden legacies real quick? Of course. Warden, 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 all the way down here. Can be found on the normal serverless? No, there's a special client that you need to download. If you go to Lotro stream and you type exclamation point bullroar, it will give you a link to the client download. The warden specific traceries are here. It's a separate launcher. Yeah. Separate installation, full installation. Um, so. You can see them here. I'm going to slowly scroll through. These should be very similar to your current ally traits. Just some of them are split. This is the first page. Here is the second page. And these also give, you know, they give some stats in addition to the skill specific thing they do they also give some stats like steadfast cooldown also gives vitality things like that check up champ once yes champion is over here adamant invisible duration unbreakable damage physical mitigation Physical mastery with blade wall damage, for example. I'll scroll slowly. Let me know if there's like a specific one that you need to look closer into, but hopefully this will give you an idea. And then the second page is here. Repost damage also gives parry. Tactical mitigation with this one. Physical mastery. And might with wild attack damage. Alright. If you have any other requests to look at any other um, classes. Sprint duration is still there. Plus 33 sprint duration. Plus 5.5% five five sprint evade chance. Dear lord. <laughs> Do you enjoy running fast? There's not a lot of people here. There's someone called Apple Pie! That is cute. Very cute. Ooh, let's look at crafting. Um... Like, is there new new stuff that's going to be here. Maybe not. I don't know if they've done anything in, in regards to crafting allies. No idea. With increased range tracery, I'm seeing creeps crying real quick. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Craft carryalls. Ah, to get carryalls. 
I wouldn't mind getting a few extra carryalls. <laughs> Clearing my inventory a little bit. Artifacts of the Veil. Rhyme of the Anvil. Shards. Okay. You're already crying. <laughs> Master of Crafting Guilds. With you. Uh, How do you do? Okay. It's going to get hit on your reaver by minis. Shout from 56 meters away. It's fine! Yeah. Why not? <laughs> okay. Um, we can continue looking at legendaries now. Or we can go check out Brawler. What do you guys think? You need a whole truckload of these ancient scripts. That's one thing that I know. And then you also need to get a hold of the traceries to barter for the ones that you want. Um, and then there was the, the matter of the target dummies. The training dummies where... Oh, I can't use that one. Dummy stand? Training dummy stand? So, while I'm in combat... I can swap weapons. But... That change was not a part of this, I guess. I guess. Oh yeah. I don't know what you guys think. Shall I... If you understand this right, the main advantage to migrating to a new service is lower population. Or higher population. If you're on a low pop server and you're finding it hard to find people to run groups, for example, then moving to a higher population server might help. Um, but yes, that's the, the main advantage. Just the what kind of crowd do you want to be in? Uh, the roleplay servers have, you know, sometimes more of a roleplay focused crowd of people. Um, there's differences in PvP activity on all the servers, there's differences in raid activity on all the servers, so it all depends. And it depends on like the popularity on the server at specific times, like Evernight, prime time Evernight is right now. Uh, started maybe a couple hours ago and then, you know, it's gonna go on for maybe an hour or so and then it's gonna drastically fall down again because this is like prime time playing for European people and a lot of European people are on Evernight. And Evernight is also the highest populated EU server, as far as I know. So, yeah. It is. So, shall we perhaps log off and check out the Brawler class a little bit? Let's see what it looks like. Can I make a new brawler? That looks pretty cool though. Man, high elf, high elf brawler, <laughs> dwarf, stout axe, hobbit elf, hobbit brawler? What do you guys think? What kind of a what kind of a, a race should we pick? Hobbit brawler. <laughs> I'm tempted to go man or maybe elf. I don't know. Kind of like the way that it looks though. 
I like this armor. I like this basic armor preview. I like the fist. Roll, absolutely cool person. <laughs> Who wrote these? Class difficulty advanced. Gameplay burglar. <laughs> it's got the burglar text at the moment. Elf, high elf. I think maybe I'm gonna make a man brawler. Yeah, a female man brawler. Let's go. Let's see if I can do this. Eh, all these things are fine. I even got my name! <laughs> oh wait, I forgot to skip the new user tutorial. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens here then. The chance encounter with brigands upon the road leads to captivity. You awaken with the ranger Strider before you. As he urges you to act quickly, you realize you have We have a skill called low strike. Much greater than yourself. Enough! Swift punch that generates metal. Oh gosh. Uh, Dexter's hook. Hurry, friend. We must test your will to fight. Quick hook that generates metal. And then smash costs three metal. Oh, that looks cool. Well done. Okay, I like that. That looks really cool. Oh, I have so much junk in my inventory. Holy smokes. That was a cool looking Here skill, is where we though. Must part ways. Adds one to metal. So they're fairly quick. Smash! Woohoo! There's like fire coming from the ground. And smash is not an AoE skill. It's all melee. We are gonna go punch some stuff now. Uh, oops. We are punching things. Very funny, Skybird. Very funny. And metal. Endurance one. Hello there. I need to see how. Um. How I can keep track of the metal. Like I'm hoping there's going to be some sort of. Uh, okay, it's kind of like kind of like the the hunter focus down here. So you can see it's all one out of nine. And it doesn't decrease over time, it looks like. So you can build up your metal. It's going to give you this little mark when you're above three, because that's how much smash costs. Yeah, just like champion focus, hunter focus and champion fervor. Yeah. You like melee classes? I play them way too little. The only melee class I've played a fair bit of is guardian back go back to the shadow fallen king <laughs> does impressive damage 28 to 41 common damage on level 1 misery me uh oh. It does seem like your kind of class comes. It does. Begone, foul spawn. 
You will not harm these folk. As Monk Main in 14, I can see yourself happily rolling a brawler. Yeah. Wounded by a black rider, the ranger Amdir escaped with his charges into the wild, making his way back to the village of Archant. There, Captain Brackenbrook, a retired cell sword, has allowed Strider and his companions to stay and take respite from their cares. You've been skipping that tutorial for so long, you forgot what it looked like. Yeah, I forgot to click the skip button this time. But there you go. There you have it. <laughs> Thank goodness you're awake. That fellow on deer seems very ill. Do not trouble yourself on my account. Uh, it is only and again, shield. it's going to be uh, there are too many deeds to be done. Let's see, light armor, medium armor, heavy armor. It's a heavy Perhaps armor you user. Help, my friend, Captain Brackenbrook will not heed my warnings. Uh, I don't like the look of those rangers one bit. Was Hobbit available? Yes. All races are available except Beorning. All races except Beorning. You can enter the tavern from where you are currently if you don't want to do the intro. I can. Because I'd love to skip the intro. What can I do for you? Is this an only um is a bull roar only thing? Check the door next to Captain Brackenbrook. Alright, I'll check. Greetings. The tavern is bull roar only. But I mean, can I... Ah, the Isengard Tavern. Okay, but can I, like, go Last out in the world and skip the intro everywhere. from there? It is an enormous task to convince them that evil people with evil intentions... Wait, let's talk to the brawler trainer deeds. first. Before you Just try to, to fight, see what you they must have learn to say. what skills you may from the trainer. Would you do something for me? Ready to help you learn how to become a more powerful brawler. As you gain levels, more skills will be available for you to unleash upon your foes. Use your new skill Overhand Smash against a training dummy. Overhand Smash is the one that requires metal. Brawlers rely on metal to activate some of their skills, such as Overhand Smash. Use your Low Strike, Sinister Cross, or Dexterous Hook to build two metal and then strike the training dummy with your Overhand Smash skill. Two metal? It costs three metal. So, that's an error in the text, I believe. But yeah. It's a very cool looking skill. Has a... cooldown of three seconds, I think? Something like that? Four seconds. Four second cooldown. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about, Mutopian. What can I do for you? Let's look at the um, the brawler skills. DNT flex. 
Regenerate metal and gain a damage buff. Plus 25% damage. DNT. Uh, DNT, does that mean that it's not completely done yet, or...? Is it just the name of the skill? Hurl an object at your foe. 25 meter range. Okay. Decreases run speed. Sinister cross. A strong punch that generates metal. Sinister setup. If a sinister cross is the most recent setup attack used, the next metal spender will tear up any available innate strength buffs twice instead of once. If no innate strength buffs have been unlocked via trait set bonuses, this is no effect. DNTs do not translate basically means it's subject to change. Okay. Text isn't yet done. Cool. So... If Sinister Cross is the most recent set of attack, use the next Metal Spender will tear up any available innate strength. So Sinister Cross is something that you want to use right before you spend your metal, for instance, with a smash. Tear up any available innate strength. Huh. You don't want to fight a Hobbit Brawler if you're a tall race. Could be uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think so. Alright, let's go to the tavern. Does this mean I can... I can... Get straight out. I'm here to complete the introduction, which gives access to important traits. Excellent. Finishing the intro. Boom. Okay, cool. Lots of pop-ups for tutorials now. I am ported to Kellendom, even though I picked a... Wait, did I... Did I pick a human? No, I picked a human. So I'm wondering a little bit why I'm here. What kind of skills will he have on a war steed? That is hard to say. Because I don't have a war steed yet. <laughs> There was a few Warsteed skills available to look at on the trainer. Uh, I wonder if there's a brawler trainer here now somewhere. Captain. Guardian champion. Burglar. Runekeeper. Warden trainer down there. Bingo Boffin. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to go back to the tavern? I'm um, assuming that's where I should be. That would be great. If you could port me there, yeah, maybe. That would be awesome. Magical port. Her name is Stina. <laughs> Sore knees, baby. I guess the tavern is where you can find... Um, uh, all sorts of, um, oh, here we go. Racial trait bestower. A virtuous man. Thank you. Talk to Snow Light to receive your racial traits. Room, room, baroom. Throne of Dread Terror items. My goodness. All the stuff. I can even talk to the cat. Agarnaith skip. So, you want to get to Saragost. I suppose I can help with that. Completing this quest will unlock access to the Bloody Watchers in Agarnaith in the Saragost level 115 area. It won't port me there, will it? No. But it did level me up to level 27. So... <laughs> You can max out, load up with raid gear in here. Oh. Bull Roar is fun.
Lots of quest actions available. Thrassel Bridge. I have a few more skills now. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. LP allowance. 500 Lotra points. Give me all the Lotra points. <laughs> Get points. Wait. A thousand of repeatable quests. How many times can you repeat these? This is just too tempting, just sitting here, hogging all the things. A thousand mithril coins. How kind. Okay. Let's see. Forever and ever! Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, who has quests I can actually do? Virtues! Here we go. Virtue rank up. Wow. Okay. That's great. I need to do some uh, some bag management because this is this is. I can't I can't look at these windows. And as you can see, my inventory is already very cluttered. Um, but I have pets and I have mounts and I have I have all the things. Those aren't your nuts, are they? Mm, no. Not really. <laughs> Let's see. Um, trait tree. Here we go. Here we go. Can you level up to max here? Like, you can actually level up to cap? Decorations. Learn some treasure hunting. Learn the emotes. Fun. With Soto Mango. Oh. 186 to 130 level up. Okay, okay, hold on. Can you go straight here? I am now 130. Featured instances, pending loot. Declining auto best Oh, holy smokes, that's a lot of quests. <laughs> Ding! A dreary, untidy mess. Um, no thank you. This is, uh... Dull Amroth. No thanks, I'll skip. Central Gondor. I'm sorry. The Karum Ubnar need you. Return to Saragost. <gasps> Saragost! The memories! Oh my goodness. I remember Saragost. Saragost is the good stuff. Okay. I am now a level 130 brawler. Let's look at our skills. And uh, clean up here. New mail, Lotra points, deeds. New quick slot page. Specialization needed. Yeah, let's look at the traits first. So, like mentioned in the patch notes, red line is the DPS line. Uh, blue line is the buffing, supporting kind of line. And the fundament is extra additions of skills that will help the two other ones. So this is not something that you can spec into initially, I think. You can't choose this as a main one. You can't specialize in this. Or so I thought. Maybe that's not mm, active yet, the fact that you can't mainly pick this. <laughs> But, let's go redline first. Maelstrom is a dynamic fighter, capable of engaging small groups, but truly shining at single combat. You just found Saragost, almost got beat up by a tree. Glad to have a minstrel flop. Saragost is fun. Hi, Henstar. Uh, so, you can get Pummel. 
channel version of the skill unleash a flurry of blows every one second five second duration if you don't interrupt it fire damage cool Shattering Fist. Drive a devastating fist into your enemy's armor, leaving it broken and ineffective. Reduces target armor. A lot of armor value decrease. Cost 3 metal. Both of these are metal consumers. So, I'm assuming all the... Kind of looks like... Yeah, they, they've put, like, colors to them. The red ones consume metal. The ones that don't have the red text, they will add metal. Faint will add three to metal, for instance. Um, so if I pick this... The buffs that we will get into... Quick attacks grant the buff innate strength, raw power, increasing the brawler's damage. If a quick attack is performed while innate strength, raw power is still active, the buff is instead advanced to a higher tier, to a maximum of tier 4. And the higher the tier, the more damage you do. Flurry of Blows. Um, using Pummel causes the next use of Pummel to deal additional damage. This effect may stack up to three times and is permanent until you exit combat or log out. Very nice. Innate Strength, Clever Technique. Increases your finesse, depending on if a balanced attack is performed while innate strength, clever techniques is still active. The buff will increase. Okay. We'll, we'll start looking into things here. So, first strike. A quick strike best used on hail adversaries. Target must have a greater than 80% of their maximum health. Uh, setup attacks deal more damage, and dexterous setup becomes more potent. I'm just gonna go into here and see what happens. Might increase melee critical chance. I like crit chance, so we're gonna go in that. Uh, revel and victory. Defeating an enemy grants the revel and victory. This effect generates one medal over time for a short duration. So you can become very powerful if you are fighting a lot of mobs and you manage to kill one off. Can give you some extra power boost. That's fun. Joy of battle. For a short duration, allow yourself to be struck and build your fighting spirit with each blow you take. To increase incoming damage, cannot parry or evade, gain a stacking damage buff with each hit taken up to a maximum of 10 stacks. Using Joy of Battle skill will trigger the cooldown for both Joy of Battle skills. Minus 20% incoming damage, you gain a stacking damage buff with each hit taken up to a maximum of 10 stacks. That's cool. This is the Brawler class, Hinstar, the new class that will arrive with the, um, the update. Okay. I'm thinking maybe I should get first strike as well. I don't know. Might seems to be one of the main stats for this class. I have zero gear. <laughs> I'll have to look at that as well. It's heavy armor. Yeah. Heavy armor. Uh, battle gauntlets as a weapon. It counts as a two-hander weapon, basically using your fists. So it's a brawler-specific weapon. And... Let's just go with might. Whoa! Someone just leveled up. <laughs> uh... Fulgrant Strike. Reduces the cooldown of Fulgrant Strike. What is Fulgrant Strike? E Apricot's not something I want there. Not this, not this, not this. Pearl Object. Flex. Backhand. Shattering Fist. 
Raw Fury. Oh, pet. Quick faint. Follow me. Brawlers have been known to inspire foolhardy acts of bravery in their comrades. Attack speed buff. Apply to the fellowship. That's nice. That's very nice. Shrug it off. Self. Poison. Removes up to one disease, wound fear, poison effect with maximum strength. Nice. Self cleanse. One for all. Grants a mitigation bonus to nearby allies. For each ally, the buff grants an additional 2% of physical and tactical mitigations to a maximum of 10%. So another buff. Weather blows. Minus 20% incoming damage. An additional 5% damage reduction for each point of metal at the time of casting. Ooh. Restores 50% of maximum morale. This is cool. This is how you stay alive. It's got a 5 minute cooldown though, so it's not something that you use very often. Pummel. Vicious knee. <laughs> hey, Philip. Helm crusher. Slip free. CC breakout. Okay. That's cool. That'll be useful. Helm's Hammer. Full Grunt Strike. There it is. Costs three metal. The strike catches the enemy unawares, leaving them breathless and interrupting complex skills and maneuvers. So, this is your interrupting spell. And you can reduce the cooldown of it by 10 seconds if you go to max rank 5. So the current cooldown is 30 seconds, so you go down to 20. I haven't really um, played it yet. We're just looking at the skills. I've just gotten it to, to max. So um, we're just starting to look into it now. Latent light. All metal spending attacks have a chance to trigger a burst of light type damage. That's kind of cool. I guess lower cooldown on interruptions isn't bad, but it's not necessary for higher damage. Um, but one point in here would be fun. Uh, we'll just get some more might to unlock the next thing. Uh, dexterous set dexterous setup becomes more potent. Dexterous setup. Is that the buff? Dexterous setup. Uh, dexterous hook. I guess any skills called dexterous. Yeah. Dexterous setup. Next spender attack deals additional damage. So these are good. We'll go here first and see. Um, aggressive posture, that's a new skill, plus 10% melee damage, and adapt an aggressive posture, increasing offensive capability at the cost of defense. You decrease your physical mitigation by 128,000 rating. Uh, only one posture may be active at a time. Is this a trigger skill? Like a, a stance, sort of? Aggressive posture, plus 5% aggressive posture damage to a maximum of 10%, it looks like. This is... ...10% extra damage, as far as I can interpret these. Full run strike cooldown that was interrupt. This is latent light. All metal spending attacks have a chance to trigger a burst of light type damage. Increases the chance that a metal spending attack will trigger latent light. A higher percentage of that. Should be fine. Um, devastate damage increase. Increases devastating skill damage. That is cool. Probably something we want. Hmm. Overhand Smash applies an incoming healing debuff. Reduces the target's incoming healing. Not something that I would put points in. Increases the brawler's light damage. 
up to 25% extra. Um, which ones are light damage? These ones are common. Common light damage. Maybe something I'm missing. Or maybe it's just not posted yet. This one is fire damage. Pummel is a fire damage. Adds a... Uh, not a bleed, but it's a... A cast. Like um, a channel. Channel spell. Okay, we'll, we'll wait on that for a bit. Fist of the Valar. Strike your foe with pre preternatural pre force. This skill deals 10% bonus damage for each point of metal it consumes. This bonus damage stacks with battle flow. That seems good. Battle Fury. For a short duration, battle flow or enhanced battle flow deals an additional 5% damage per metal. Ooh. Extra boost. Um, Fist of the Valor sounds handy. Yeah, I'm gonna apply these and um, going to oh get into the class trade points here as well. Much various. So wow, receive your trade points. <laughs> Boom. And a be ulko a palle, alta vasina, luna la ila e quatare. Random cutscene appears. <laughs> uh, no, I want to go back to the tavern. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> my great pants. <laughs> oh, thanks. Having my own private personal. Taxi service. Much appreciated. Okay, I have more trait points available now. <laughs> Great. I don't know why I was randomly teleported to a place, but yeah, this is great. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we're going to look into the fundament. Um, this gives setup skills a chance to generate bonus metal. That's nice. Um... AUE skill max targets the map of the tavern in your inventory. I do. E Isengard tavern map. Oh, I can. Oh, 30 second cooldown. Okay, so I can get back to the tavern anytime I want. Thank you! <laughs> In case McVegan Pants isn't there to watch watch over me. Evade chance. Let's see. Vulnerable application increases the chance of applying the vulnerable effect to my enemies, I guess. AOE skill max targets. Hmm. Do I have that many AOE skills? Balanced attacks. Heavy attacks, inner strength, mounted skills. You guys wondered about mounted skills? Here they are. You can do a strike, plus two and a half percent incoming damage. Throw. Reckless attack. 
Mocking taunt. Take a breath. Restore ten percent of morale. Um, incoming healing modifier plus damage. Momentous hit. Thank you, MVP. Thanks for hanging out, helping us out. Um, it was good to have some extra hands here to help us with the the big getting stuff. Okay, ranged attacks. You have one ranged skill, which is basically hurl an object. Uh, I kind of want to see what this looks like. <laughs> I want to see what all the skills look, look like. So, set of attacks. We have low strike, dexterous hook, and sadist across. These three are the setup skills. They all generate metal. Please let it be a chair. That would be fun. Um... And you have Fulgrim Strike, which is your Interrupt. Hey, on a stay. Um, we have Helm's Hammer, which is a Corruption Removal. Uh, corruption Removal, it's here. Very nice. Interrupt, Corruption Removal. That'll be good to have there. Uh, Helm Crusher. So, quick attacks. There are five quick attacks. Wait, are they immediate? No. Are any of them immediate? Fulgrim Strike is immediate, which means you can cut animations with Fulgrim Strike. Okay. That'll be cool. The Warsteed stuff I won't be looking too much into right now. And then these are the inner strength ones, which basically work like self buffs. Aggressive posture. What about that? Is it something that you have on at all times? It's a toggle skill. You can toggle aggressive posture. You do 15% extra damage, but you decrease your own physical mitigation. That's cool. Battle Fury. 20 second duration, so it's kind of like a self buff. Battle Flow or Enhanced Battle Flow grants an additional 5% melee damage per pip of metal. Battle Flow. Is that a separate skill or a type of skill? I'm not sure, actually. There it is. Enhanced battle flow. Uh, first strike has got the battle flow icon. Hold on. Enhanced battle flow. I need one more rank. One more point in here. So we'll go there. Okay, now we have um, Enhanced Battle Flow grants the Brawler 15% skill damage. This bonus does not apply to metal generating skills. If I do that, do I gain a, another skill? No. I unlocked it. But what is it? Okay, never mind. We'll we'll look more into that. Setup skills have a five percent chance to generate one bonus metal. That's great though. That's good. Um vulnerable effect. Increase the chance of applying the vulnerable effect. Vulnerability chance. Is that a general vulnerability thing that I have? Let's do this. 
here. Strike as one. Rally those around you, granting a damage boost to nearby fellows. If no fellowship members are affected by the skill, you instead gain a powerful damage boost for yourself. Nice! The brawlers alone gain 25% damage for 30 seconds. Or 10% damage for the fellowship members for 30 seconds. That's cool. Tactical mitigation. Okay, don't really need that. I want to do this though. Win-win, yeah. Like, if they can't get it, then I just get more. Strike as one grants an additional 10% damage bonus. This is great. Hmm. Share innate strength, quickness. Grant your allies a portion of your quickness. Okay. Buff skill. This is another buff. Grants your allies a portion of your precision. Uh, or grants your allies a portion of your strength. Okay. Faint, deft faint. Quick faint restores an additional three metal. Quick faint is something that was over here. Wasn't it? Quick faint. Hold on. Sorry, I need to kick you from the fellowship. I want more damage. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna apply these changes just now, just to see. Um, there's the buff. Super buff. I wanna find a dummy. Uh, which one do I talk to to get? Um, wait, do I have... I don't have the max amount of trait points, do I? I should be able to get more. There we go. Well, some extra. Where do I get gear? Um... Instance discovery deeds. Oh, cool. Okay. Bloody threshold gear vendor. Reputation. Basement, you think? Let's see if I can find the basement. Dust. Ash of Gorgoroth Alliance. Oh, nice. Get embers. Cool. Michael Delwing, Rohan Household, Ally Weapons and Class Items. <laughs> well, what about these boxes? And here we have first age legendary items still. Are those still going to be usable? Skirmish advancement. Currency exchange. Raid deeds. <laughs> cool. Black Book of Mordor Bestower, Epic Bestower, Monster Play, Level Up. Ah, completing these books. Okay, but where do I get gear? Housing Plains, Rohan Housing Foothills, Caltrev. Oh, hello. This is funny. How does Galadon? 
Horse dev. <laughs> Test Durin. Click me to teleport to the Elder Slade Command Center. This Octothorpe like beast will take you to the latest region. Fun. Epic Bestower, Volume 2. Hmm. I see no gear. Though. As far as I could see. Unless there's another basement. Ow. Crafting hall. Gary's on the first floor? Which one? Outfit provider. Hello. Now we're talking. <laughs> this is not really what you guys are interested in though, is it? I'm just curious. Test gear vendor? Oh, there we go. Mordor test gear vendor? Edge case next to the LP guy. Uh, LP guy is up here, right? Edge case, there we go. Minas Morgul and you. 30 gear. Perfect. I need, uh, I need embers. <laughs> I need lots of embers. So... Where's the one that gave me embers again? Ash you get from Ash next to the crafting hall. Ash, I saw them. Here? No. Other side. There. It's gonna be a lot of running back and forth though, isn't it? All dust, yeah. Okay, but let's go look at this. Minas Morgul, Remmer Chant, Fall Cause Doom gear. Tier one, Fall Cause Doom. Mm, tier 3, Falcaza Doom. Uh, deed, Falcaza. Yeah, I need the deed. Where's the deed person? That was also here somewhere. Instance discovery deeds. Uh,. That was downstairs. Okay. Thank you. So that was over here. Skirmish advancement. What does Aragorn do? Skirmishes? No. Raid deeds. Here we go. Abyss of Mordath. Raid deeds. Promotion points. Uh, 
Erebor deeds. This is a lot of deeds. Is that the only quest that he's got now? Promotion points? Yeah, okay, I don't need to complete that a thousand times. Was that what I needed? Black Book of Mordor Bestower? Yeah, these are epic, epic stuff. Okay, hopefully I got what I needed. Can I barter for things now? No. I still need the Fall of Casa Doom Tier 1 as a quest requirement. Um, Rammer Chant Tier 1, Tier 2. These I can get if I want. Take the bloody threshold gear. Guy has a deed who completes. Bloody threshold gear. Uh, different vendor. Mm, there. Is Goodman watching my stream? Because <laughs> they seem to be jumping next to all... Oh, wait, is this you, Fire? That's you. <laughs> I was like, that's not a name I recognize, but they seem to know exactly what I need at all times. Thank you. Uh... Bloody Threshold gear vendor. So... Relics... Shekelush Stare... Ah, these things... Bloody Threshold. Trigger Essences. So... We need to pick something... That gives might, I'm assuming. Might's gonna be the most important stat for you. Increase your physical mastery, block, and parry ratings. Vitality is secondary important. Okay. So let's go with might, tier 2, bloody threshold. No. Might tier 3, Bloody Threshold. The gold and stuff. That'll be fine. Might Vitality. Ooh. Set item. Uh, critical rating. Using any healing skill grants you a temporary damage preventing bubble. Or this one. Critical rating. Oh, it's the same. Except more vitality. So this is the most might. It's gonna be a lot of running back and forth, getting enough um, embers. And this is jewelry only? What about gear? Yeah, this is a neck. Here's another neck. Might Vitality. Oh gosh, it's hard to know which ones to pick. Finesse, Physical Mastery Rating, though, this seems to be the one that I would need. Not that it matters if I pick the wrong one, it could just... 
get the embers again. But yeah, Ash is my new best friend. Browse the shop. Oh, I could buy the flame here. We can also check out loot boxes. Not that that matters right now, I don't think. Order items. Carry alls for me through. Okay. Any special things you guys want to look at at the moment? <laughs> or maybe we should go back to the... Um, maybe we should go back to the uh, legendary items. No, I want to see... I want to see it fight. I want to see some combat. So, here's the... Tavern. Where's the other room? The room where we had the... Um, the room where we had the... Training dummies. It's the crafting room. Okay. Phoenix. Is that you, Druid's Fire? Hey, Isil. The door next to dust. Okay. Two, three bloody thresholds. Tier two. This has some gear. Might, Vitality, Crit, Cloak. Here we go. I know, it's not going to matter too much now, the gear. We'll just go back here and we'll hit the dummy and then you guys can look... And see what things look like. DPS target dummy. Oh, is this something that someone summoned, I guess. There's a purple icon that pops up whenever I use Sinister Cross. Sinister setup. If Sinister Setup is the most recent setup attack, you use the Metal Spender tier will tear up. So if I do Overhand Smash... Punch Bag, yeah. <laughs> Joy of Battle. This is the uh, Cannot Evade, minus 20% incoming damage. This is the one that if you get hit in this time, you, you stack up damage. Strike towards the sky, an uppercut. That looks cool. Let's look at all the skills. Set up skill, gain some damage. Quick faint. Shattering fist. Why did I die? Why did the dummy hit me? Do any of your skills cost morale? Uh, the dummy killed me. Yeah, it did. Stupid dummy. <laughs> Currency capped. Yeah, yeah. No armor. Maybe you need some gear. Yeah. You think? <laughs> I got so many mails.
She gets some basic gear from the vendors before fighting the dummy. <laughs> Yep, I should do that. That's the first? You've never seen a dummy fight back? Well, apparently I pissed it off, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna go get some gear again, okay? <laughs> Revenge of the dummy. Oh gosh. That's embarrassing. I kind of want to get... I want to get to these. I I got, like, two pieces of gear. It's not a lot. <laughs> I know. It's not a lot. I want to talk to this guy, but I can't because I don't have the deed. So we're going to go to the bloody threshold vendor instead. Uh, chest plate. Might, vitality, finesse, crit. Yeah, let's go with that. And now I need more. Ambers. Give me my allowance, please. Uh. Oh, it disappears. Right away. Okay. Wait, no. Never mind. Uh, might tier two. Heavy shoulders. Is it? No, those were gloves. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get another because then I can barter for two pieces at the same time. A dummy run, yeah. Greaves. Might vitality. That's nice. Nice amount of vitality. This is really how things work on Blower. Yeah, you can barter for the things that you need so you can get all the gear that you want. Um. Oh, I guess I should have gone with this instead. Wait, no, this is exactly the same. Oh, except different. Yeah, never mind. Why is this one 6,000 embers? Oh wait, was- oh, the other cloak was also 6,000. Fill up by, fill up by again. Yeah. It's so that you can- you can look at all the things. What do I need? I need a headpiece, I need shoes. I need embers. Couldn't bother trying to get them set up on Bull Roar and getting it reset every update. Oh, uh, yeah, that must be annoying. So let's get the rings. Skirmish ring, might, vitality, critical rating, finesse. Uh, there's a three set, set test. For legendary items. No Remo gear though? I can't barter for it because I don't have the deed. <laughs> I don't have the Remo chat deed on this character and it didn't seem to have an automatic bestowal for it. So yeah. The fo the this this uh, NPC gave me the deed for the bloody threshold, so that I could barter for the gear. Hmm. Might, vitality, physical mastery, fate, critical rating. Physical mastery and wait, hold on. There are three rings here. Well, there's more. 
But these have block rating. I don't want that. Critical defense. Those are defensives. No. Um... Which ones do I want? I definitely want that one with the most might and physical mastery. Ring of the Bloody Threshold. And then... Which one? Threshold and Bloody Threshold? I'm not sure which one to get there. Bloody Threshold, and that's the Threshold one. Ah, they both count for the set. I just have to get one more. Critical rating and finesse. My current critical rating is um, uh, not quite up there. <laughs> so, slaughter's threshold might. This has a lot more might though. And critical rating. Yeah, let's get that one. There. Okay. Uh, gotta get more embers need braces, earrings, pocket. Oh, I didn't see the essence slots. Chores for months with that allowance? Yeah, exactly. I didn't see that. Neck. I already picked the neck. Uh, vitality. Finesse. Yeah, I guess that was the right choice anyway. Um, but pocket item doesn't seem to be here. Maybe tier two. At least here we have racers. Pockets crafted. Okay. Can't barter for any. Let me get a headpiece. Chest plate. Might tier one, maybe? Helm. Hardened helm. Both of these. Three, seven, might. Seven, might. Fate, critical defense. Okay, these ones. This helm. And might, vitality, critical rating. Yeah. These shoes. Okay, we're getting there. So, we are going to revisit the legendary items again, um, after I played around a little bit on the brawler. So you can have a look again, you can, if you've built up any questions, you can fire those away. 
my tier three. There's nothing more that I want here, right? Where there's there's earrings. I'm guessing there's no. Let's see. These are earrings. Might critical rating. Might vitality, physical mastery. Might vitality, physical mastery, outgoing healing. The ones that have the most might are the ones that I want, probably. Yeah. So... Two of this, perhaps? I don't know how important finesse is for... Um, For a brawler. Five, eight, nineteen. Yeah, we'll go with this one. It has more vitality on it. Uh, get a second one. There. Braces. I have to do this two more times. <laughs> I wish I could sort by uh, item type. That would be good. Okay, no wrists in here. So, tier two. Bracers. Might, vitality, finesse, crit. Yeah, we'll go for those. Tier two, might. Here. There. Okay. Semi fully geared. Um uh, now I need to go get a legendary item. So let's go back to the crafting hall. And we will get a legendary weapon for the brawler. So we need to buy a bunch of these ancient scripts. I know that you need a truckload of them, so we're just gonna do that. And let's barter for brawler. So you have the enhancement runes that you have to use to level up your um, traceries, legendary class items, we need a bla brawler stein, <gasps> cool, that's cool, does it, does it show though somehow, no, incoming healing rating, interesting, a brawler stein, Legendary weapons. Where's the brawler one? On page one. Brawler. Brawler's battle gauntlets of legend. There's no cosmetic preview on them. You're sold on this class now? Yeah. I think it's alphabetical. Yeah, it looked like it. Okay, let's reforge. Reforge them. When you do reforge them on, uh, Stein, you gotta give them a name. That's when it gets reforged to be your level. So, then, oh, there's gauntlets. DPS. <laughs> 
Then you can drag your items to the essence removal slot to bring up the socket control panel. And here is where you see all of the slots. This is a work in progress, Andreas. There will be a separate UI for it, as far as I know. It might be similar. I'm hoping it will be one with a little bit better overview that doesn't fill up so much of the screen. You're very dependent on, you know, uh, if you want to see all of it at the same time. It's kind of tricky. But yeah. Um, so you have one heraldic tracery slot. Here, can you see this? There. One heraldic tracery slot. And you get your heraldic traceries here. Um, you barter for them. And as a brawler... Let's see. We're gonna go on the legendary ones. As a brawler, Heraldry of the Lion is the one with the most might, vitality, and physical mastery are the secondaries. I think the Lion one is definitely going to be the one that you would want for brawler. The ox is might and vitality, but it's not as much might as the lion. So here's the comparison between these two. The lion is the one that you want for your brawler. So I'm going to barter for this and I need a cracked morgul tracery for it. You can uh, buy them on the same, um, same vendor. Cracked morgul tracery. <laughs> We're going to barter for Heraldry of the Lion. There. Then, it kind of works like an essence where you, if you have this window open, you can pull it and drop it on your weapon. Equipment will permanently bind to character. Yes, I'm okay with that. And then you get the stats. So now that I have a heraldry on here, um, a tracery on here. You can also buy the upgrade items. The ones that... Let's see. Barter. You can barter for the enhancement runes. The 131 enhancement runes. Minimal level 130... Oh, 131. Never mind. These are the ones I'm going to get. So, level 121 enhancement runes. You barter for these. And you drop these on the heraldries. Uh, on the traceries, like so. And that will increase the item level. Uh, increase the level of the tracery with one. It starts out on 400. And as far as I've been told, the current cap is 45. Oh, too many requests. Sorry. 45 of these is what you need to max it out. Let us test it. 45 times 12. Uh -huh. There's no way to use multiples at this moment. As far as I know, I am sure hoping that that will come. It's not something that you can... You can't click to use it right now. You just need to drag and drop it and confirm every time. I wish there's a... Please tell me I don't have to confirm it again kind of a thing, but... So, 45 times 12 times 50. That's how many ancient scripts you need to fully upgrade your legendary item. As far as I know. Which is kind of insane. <laughs> I do hope that ancient scripts is easy to get. I hope you get very many of them at the same time when you do gain them. It seems to be 
Yeah. Probably the same as Anfala Scrolls. That is insane. If it's going to be as hard as that... That is insane. 540 of them per ally. 400 is probably the start level for the current endgame. Yeah, I'm level 130 now, so... Onful of scrolls are not that bad at the moment. Do you mean the scrolls of empowerment? Because I feel like those are... kind of hard to get. Are they... They require so much time to get. So yeah, I don't know. Andang is running around here. He's probably very frustrated. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm hoping that they will tweak the numbers a bit. Like if 50 to get these scrolls to, to upgrade by one level. And it's just minor, minor adjustments. You cannot right-click it at this moment. Not at the moment, no. But that might be a feature that will be available when it's live. It's just a functionality that's not implemented yet. Okay, it's now 445. Let's try one more. 446. Someone told me 45 was the limit. That was not true. Never mind the 45. Maybe it's 450. And now I'm getting a general error. Okay, 449 seems to be the current cap for this one at least that I can reach. So 449 was what I could get to, which means 49 enhancement runes times 50 times 12. <laughs> Okay, so for the words of power, the word of power traceries, when you barter for those, I'm going to go down to level 121, legendary page one. Um, you have two of these available on your ally. Wait, do I not equip it? Equip both of these. So yeah, two, two words of power slots. And as a brawler... Hmm, okay, you need cracked morgul traceries. So, cracked morgul traceries. Two of these. And you need a whole bunch more of the ancient scripts. Sorry, not to barter for shop. So many. Thank you, perks. <laughs> I, I needed that. So, uh, area of effect attack criticals. I don't have, as far as I know, that many area attacks. Let's see. Let's do, um, morale, block chance, damage over time. I don't think there's a lot of damage over time skills for a brawler either, as far as I've seen. So, we're gonna go to page two, I believe. Evade, mitigation, parry, incoming damage reduction, ranged attack extension, ranged healing extension, single target attack criticals, 
and single target attack damage. That is what I imagine will be... Ooh, scale induction speed, though. I guess inductions isn't really a problem for Brawler either, because most of the skills are instant. Okay, so these two. Single target attack criticals and single target attack damage. These two are what I want. And I'm probably going to want one for the book as well. So I'm just going to get two more Cracked Morgul Traceries and one of each of these more. So I'm going to have one of those and one of these. So here we have the words of power and then, you know, you can apply all the, the boosts and stuff on it again. I'm going to apply to my book as well. The book has three words of power. Can I equip multiple items socketed with the same unique essence? Hold on. So... Multiple items socketed with the same unique essence. So it's completely unique, which means you cannot have two of them. Oh, disenchants into the ancient scripts, though. That's nice. Weapon swapping disabled. Not on Bullroar at the moment, but it will be. So I guess we got to pick two other, three other traceries for the weapon. Three word of power traceries. For the, um, the stein, I mean. Yeah, in combat swapping will not be possible anymore. So, I guess... Do any of these give a boost up? Let's see, this gives critical rating, healing over time. Damage over time, crit chance, crit... Oh, damage over time. I don't have a lot of damage over time, do I? There's like no bleeds, as far as I can see. There are debuffs, R corruption removal. This one has a bleed. Uh, wait, this is not a bleed. This is the channeled skill. Pummel. We need to try this one out. I want to see what it looks like. 50% uh, chance to apply 2 second knockdown, that's nice. Base morale multiplier might be good? Yeah, I think so too. A little bit of defensive might be good. But no bleeds. Not a single bleed on this character. Base morale multiplier. That might be good. We'll get one of these. Um... Let's look at the second page again. Incoming damage reduction, tactical, skill induction. This has physical mastery and tactical mastery and minus 11% dual skill inductions. I might just want that just for the physical mastery even. Might be good. Ranged attack, extension ranged attack. This one also has physical mastery on it, so I can throw things further. That one range skill that I have will give me some extra physical mastery. Or I will decrease incoming damage a lot more. I think I'm just going to go full on, full on damage. Uh, let's see this one as well. 
There. One of these on each of that. Here. I don't know. Mastery values aren't aren't, aren't massive. Um, not compared to the ones that are on the the main weapon. The physical mastery for the top one there is like 60k, which is great. It's a small amount, but it might work. Then we have words of mastery. Those are... Uh... Words of mastery? Isn't it word of power? These are the class ones. So, the brawler traceries. Okay, let's look at what kind of things we can get for the brawler. Level 121, legendary. And we need cracked morgul traceries for these. We have six on the um class item uh let's see why my quantity 12 i don't know if i need more we'll see multiplies maximum morale by one can that be raised yeah we can we can use these uh upgrade scrolls on them let's see one times oh it, it doesn't raise the um the by one but it raises the vitality count so i'm assuming that's it just increases the amount of vitality you get Could be more than one, but the UI rounds it and shows one. Could be. Yeah, could be. I don't know. So let's look at these. Legendaries. Um, black hand clout targets and damage. Black hand clout. So I know nothing about all these skills now. But Brawler melee range and finesse. Fist of the Valar cooldown and might. That seems to be good. Fist of the Valar, is that the one? Let me see. Aggressive posture, we want that on. Fury. Smash. Bulgrin Strike. Flex Duration and Damage Buff. Gift Skills Cooldown. Minus 44. Gift. Gift Skill. Mm hmm. Helm Crusher cooldown and physical mastery. Pearl object cooldown and damage. Latent light proc chance and damage. One for all cooldown. Quick faint and cooldown and damage. Set a buff duration and effect avoidance slash finesse. Gift skill sounds like fun. The opposite of brawl. You give away stuff. You lose something from your inventory every time. That would be fun. Not so fun, actually. I don't like that idea. Don't give them ideas like that. Damage and threat. Avoidance, finesse, damage and threat. This one might be useful. Set up buff duration. Damage. Set up skill cooldowns. These are all setup skills. 
And if we reduce our cooldown, it's going to be reduced by 0.22. At level 1 at least, or at the lowest level. At 130. Metal chance, set up pip proc chance. That's nice. Shrug it off. Cooldown. And then there is the... Oh, there is only one page. For the brawlers. Let me get this. The metal chance. Shrug it off cooldown and dispel count. Shrug it off is the um, cleansing of the diseases. It's got a 20 second cooldown now. You can decrease it by five. Five and a half, and it's going to remove an additional disease. So instead of removing one, it's going to remove two. I kind of like that. I don't know if it's going to be the best one, but I like it. I wonder, they are, oh, they are unique use. So you might only be able to fit one of each on these, of these on your weapons. Mm. Tactical mitigation, setup buff effect. Mitigation critical, 11%. Is that a buff duration mitigation critical? I don't know what that means. Damage and threat. We'll get this one because damage. Avoidance, finesse, quick faint, low strike, dexterous hook, sinister cross. I'm going to punch the puppet for a little bit now. See if I can survive. Hey, NPR. Clocked up to 8 to 10 kilometers. Very good. Very good. Now you can celebrate with ice cream. <laughs> oh, look. Now I'm actually taking less damage. I think. Cancel. Smash. Wait. Pummel. All oh, right. I wanted to use pummel as the... Um, yeah, get revenge on the poor dummy. I will. First strike. That looks cool. So anytime... This is the pummel. This is the one where you cast for five seconds. Valoria of strikes. That's cool. No. No essences on the gear at the moment. Helm Crusher, it's a stun. Oh, that looks cool as well. Knee Strike. <laughs> and Dang is here. He's cheering for me. <laughs> Are you Southpaw or Orthodox? I don't know what that means. I'm guessing the answer is no. Fist of the Valar deals 10% bonus damage for each point of metal it consumes. Oh. Did you see that? What was the hit for that? That was good, wasn't it? If I boost this up. Not the pummel, this one. Fist of the Valar. What was the hit that I was able to do? 80k. Like boxing stances. Lead with left hand or right hand? Uh, Right hand, I think. Yeah, right hand. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll put this up here so you guys can look at the combat window if you like. Mighty Upheaval. Ooh, that's a cool one. 50% chance to apply a two second knockdown. 192k. Critical hit. 
Helm's hammer is a corruption removal. Critical buff. Innate strength. So, the innate strength tears up, as far as I know. Anti critical buff. What happened? Did I kill the dummy? Hey, little redhead. Before just finished on the official channel, so you just got here. How are you liking the brawler? So far, I like it. It's it's fun so far. It looks really cool when fighting. I don't know how much you can hear. I'm gonna see if I can turn the audio up a little bit. Uh, increasing the combat sound. Maybe there's some cool audio effects. knocks the enemy into the air slightly like i'm curious to see what that looks like on an enemy that can actually fly green eye gamer thank you so much for the raid welcome in <laughs> welcome welcome battle fury look at this one fist of the valar this is a Good attack. Okay, that was not a great one. That was not a good one. Corruption removal. Home crusher. Smash. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? Holgren strike. I like the icons. All melee. They have one skill. Okay, hold on. Let's do this. Hurl object. <laughs> oh, and the dummy disappeared. Oh, no. I have a dummy right here. And I'm tossing... A random object. Okay, this is interesting. It was a different thing earlier. So, I tossed a shield... Blank of some sort? That is funny. What's next? A shield. I'm throwing a shield at the dummy. Whoop. I think the server lagged a bit. How about a shoe? I don't know. A plank. It throws a piece of a plank. <laughs> Oh, uh, there was a shoe. There was a shoe. <laughs> hey, Eldolith. How are you? Shattering fist. We're, we're throwing things. That was another plank. That is hilarious. Okay, that's great. Mitigations. Here, though, let me try this, and then Fist of the Valar. Okay, that was not great. So Fist of the Valar will consume all of your metal points if you have a full bar, and it will do more damage depending on how many metal it consumes. Um, Mighty Upheaval... Let's see, Pummel is the cast. Which looks quite cool. And then this it does a decent amount of damage when it crits, at least. But I think my crit is a bit too low. Uh, critical rate is 272,000, so I need a lot more crit. Um, thinking of slotting crit essences in the gear may be a good idea. Oh, I threw a cup. Backhand. Oh my goodness, I like that one. Flex. <laughs> uh, 25% damage buff. Shattering Fist will reduce the target's armor, so doing that first and then... 
Fist of the Valar. Might be good. Smash. Earth Strike. Quick Strike, best used on hail adversaries. Target must have a greater than 80% of their maximum health. That's a shoe. <laughs> hey, Red Baron. Yeah, I'm having fun. Oh, that's a cool hit. Helm Crusher. It's a headbutt with some extra force. Oh, target dummy got tired of me. This one is a minus 50% incoming damage, additional 5% damage reduction for each point of metal at the time of casting. So, if we do this, 50%. Give me finesse. It's 15%. You have 9 metal. So, the more metal you have, the more damage you do. That's a cool one. Mighty upheaval. Your slam your gauntlets into the ground with incredible force, creating a shockwave of damage and possibly knock opponents down. So chance of knockdown. This one supposedly throws enemies up into the air. I kind of feel like I need to go somewhere to actually defeat enemies with this. Cool. Oh, can I get out of combat, please? Snap. Whoa, the will is a good testing place. Not sure I should be doing an instance, though. <laughs> Maybe. Size one. Tier one. Let's try. Cannot do that in combat. No. I'm in a mission. I can do woe. It'll be fine. I can just get out of combat with the dummy. There we go. Let's travel. In the heart of the old forest, a fell sword calls forth evil spirits from the Barrow Downs. Only by destroying the sword can you stop the wood troll's blight from spreading and end the forest's misery. Marigold. So let me throw my <laughs> boot or something at them. Let's see, this is three targets. Let me get my AOE skills. Pummel! Interrupted, okay. Smash. Interesting. Oh, and this. I can use that to cleanse myself of, um, of wounds. Fiery Determination? Apply to heal to me. What is that? Is that mine or is that Marigold? Assuming that's Marigold. 36 meter range though. It's quite nice. Uh, I want to do the uppercut. Oh! He did actually get raised from the ground a little bit. That is funny. The knockdown? You usually dismiss Marigold so you can see the testing better. I guess. I kind of like Marigold. If she protects me. So I have an interrupt. But... Um, it was on cooldown. Oh, I can throw boots at the roots. Should 
She's too effective. Oh. Can you use plugins on Bore? Do you guys know? You just need to load them. Will it take from the plugins that I already have installed on the basic client? Like, will it use the same directory? What about profiles? UI profiles. Vermin, these woods are ours. You cannot stop the march of plugin our manager. Thador will see it. Bootstrap. Done. If I load Bootstrap, that's gonna help me with the rest. He forces yes, same directory. All right. The UI profiles from the normal server are not available. You will need to recreate them. Okay, too bad. But it's fine. Uh. Combat analysis. Mm. Okay. Refresh. Reload. There we go. He was able to load a profile, previously saved, named one, but he probably created it on Bullroar. That's what I mean. He probably created it on Bullroar, because if he did, that it would be available. Gone, yeah. Mm, can I? Okay, never mind. There. Try loading one. Uh, what's the command? Slash UI load main UI layout load main. Ah, it worked! That works perfectly. Excellent. Yes, this is how I want it. Okay, okay. Um, damage, which one should this be set to? Okay, I guess we're just gonna try this. Oh, except I wanna move that window there. Hello? Hello. <laughs> uh, stuck. Witness our might. Okay, run away, Marigold. Fall before us. 
This is going to take some time. Breaking the armor. Why did Marigold taunt him? Yes, Grez, this is the new brawler class. Knee strike, that looks kind of cool. Armor break. Fall before us. Oh yeah, this is the breaking free of crowd control um, ability. A mighty upheaval. Okay. Woo! Fall before us. Yeah, yeah. And this restores fifty percent of maximum morale as well. Has a cooldown of five minutes. First strike, armor break. Nothing I can interrupt here, but this our might. five meters. So this is an AOE. I need to um, rearrange my skills so that I um, know which ones are AOE. There are some really cool cool abilities here though. Inspired by the Friday evening in the pub after the game. Well, you can throw throw a mug or a boot. Let's do the pummel. Oh no, let's wait. But if we do pummel, this is a uh... high black spot. I'm also going to arrange them by damage. Mighty upheaval one. You want to do this as much as possible, I guess, once you have the maximum amount of, um, of these. Is your 3D printer project going on? Uh, no, we haven't bought a printer yet. We're still thinking about which one to get. I'm a bit torn now because the the threshold to get into 3D printing is lower price-wise if you get a filament filled uh, printer, but a resin printer would be uh, higher quality. So, yeah, I don't know. We haven't really decided yet what we're going to end up getting. Uppercut does not throw the boss into the air, though. Would be fun if they did, but they didn't. Oh well. That'll teach them not to underestimate us. 
Any possible date or month when the brawl will be available? I haven't got an exact date. But usually when they release it to... Um, when they release it to Bloor, it's not going to be too long until it's live. I would guess a week or two. No. No, no, no. Never mind. Mm -mm. Never mind. Um... Let's see. Around Gundabad launch? I thought... I thought the brawler was going to be available with the Gundabad launch. Pretty sure it's coming out with Gundabad sometime this fall. Yeah, I... Somewhere I've heard, like, November-ish, but there's no certainty around that whatsoever, so... Take it with a grain of salt. Sound like it might be a pre-order for Gundabad, but not sure. I don't know. They said that it might be slightly earlier. Okay, so the Brawler class might not arrive at the exact same time. Good. Okay, this is, this is, um... This is a good viewpoint. Let me see. I'm gonna leave the instance. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a last chance to, uh... Get some questions in if you have questions about the ally items or about the brawler class that I can respond to right here and now. Um, I am going to head to bed because it's 11.33 p.m. for me. But I'll give you guys a second to maybe muster some questions if you have them. And I will forward you to the next person streaming um, the update. So, how's it feel compared to Guardian so far? Uh, I like the effects. I like the effects of the skills. I'm gonna have to look more on the damage. Uh, I can't really compare it much to the guard because the guard is still lower level. Um, so, DPS-wise, I don't know. Let's look at here. DPS for, let's see, what are these? A melee attack. So it seems like you, you get a lot of damage from like the, the in-between melee attacks. Hi, Chromite. Finally done with the raiding. How did it go? I'm about to end. <laughs> I don't know if you had any other... Um, Things that you wanted me to to check out quickly because we have a uh, we've got some. We'll take a couple minutes here and and chat about things. If there are people that have specific questions, this is the brawler um, class, and I have set up a. You got it. Did tier three Remo chat? <gasps> nice. And then you did a uh, tier two follow cause of doom really quick. That is cool. Congratulations. Is it the first time you did it? So, I haven't set up these fully. And if you guys want to, I can also switch back to the minstrel and look at the uh, legendary items there. At least then you have something to compare to something that is, you know, something that is th that you know about already. Is the first time on Landerville. Ah, okay. Maybe some people's first time then. But that's cool. That is very cool. New allies, what's your thoughts? So... It seems... like a very big grind. Uh, I don't know yet how it's gonna be, because I, I don't know the source of these ancient scripts. I don't know how you'll be able to get them. But these ancient scripts are what you need to barter for um, the basic ally items as well as 
the enhancement runes, the runes that you're going to use to upgrade your um, traceries, I think they're called. And you can also, you also need these uh, Morgul traceries. Is it still level 100 weapon? Well, this is, this is the, the current weapon that I have. It doesn't really say about the levels. They're level, minimum level 50 is what it says. And then you can, you can, you level it up as you go. You give it, uh, it's item level 445 at the moment, for 130, which is the cap. Um, let me re-log to the minstrel. And I'll show you what we, what we started setting up there. At least then I can show you what it's what it's about. Each slot item needs forty nine items to max it, and there's twelve slots. Yeah, so here is what my minstrel weapon looks like. Uh, the DPS sword is fully equipped with the available um, traceries, is what they're called. Traceries. You have several types of traceries. If you drag them over here, you'll be able to see the names of the sockets. There's a lot of options. Um, it makes it easier hunting for a specific tracery because everything is available to you. You can barter for it with the same currency. So to get a heraldic tracery, you need to have the ancient scripts. That's it. That's what you need. And a cracked Morgul tracery to get the, the legendary version of, of this. So this one is not unique, which means I am going to get one of these for my book as well. This is the only one that's viable for minstrel at the moment. I'm bartering for that and then you just pull it and drop it into here. And that's it for the heraldry. Uh, heraldric traceries. Then you have three words of power on your minstrel book. So you, then you go to the word of power traceries and here you can barter for them. So the lower ones you see they don't require an extra item, they just require ancient scripts. Um, the level 121 uncommon ones also don't require the extra item. If you go into rare it also doesn't require an extra one, it just needs more ancient scripts. If you go into incomparables, this is when you need an extra item. I'm assuming something that you can get from an instance or a raid. Um, and uh, if you get the legendary one, then you'll be able to barter for the legendary traceries. You can see how this will not really alleviate some of the ally confusion. A lot of people have no clue about the legacies of normal allies and won't have a clue about the traceries for the class specific stuff. But at least here, if, if you have vendors like this available, with all the traceries available, at least then me, as a person who's n who wasn't into the legendary item system very much, uh, I can look at all the traceries and I can sort of figure out which ones would be suitable for me and then I know all the options. It's not like, oh, I didn't know this tracery existed so I didn't put it on my weapon. I didn't know that I could... You don't, you don't have to do the, the searching work by leveling up allies and looking for legacies that you can pull off and then put on your main one. And you don't have to do the thing where you 
have to apply all the different crystals and all the the stuff to upgrade. It's like it's very simple the upgrade process. You just need ancient scripts to upgrade your traceries. To upgrade your traceries, you buy you barter for um you go to this character and you barter for something called enhancement runes. And now all of them cost the same thing. I'm assuming this might change, but if you buy these enhancement runes and you can then apply these to your traceries, this will increase the level here by one up to a maximum of 49. 449 is the current cap. So the currency numbers might change. How are they going to convert our current allies? I am not sure they will. It's not a system that's up on Bulroar yet, at least. I don't know how it's going to be. So far, I think this is just a preview on the new system. So I'm not sure they're actually going to do anything about the old stuff. They're coexisting, so you can choose. You can choose to keep your old ally that you've worked so hard on, or you can choose to use the new system. I'm, I'm hoping that there will be some good balance there. Um, so that you won't lose too much by not converting to the new system. If you are a person who have spent hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on your ally weapon and you're very happy with it. But time will show. Time will show. We'll see. Oh yeah. Uh, one thing to note that I noticed, Chromite, is that all of these, the traceries, um, like the, the words of mastery for, maybe not for the words of mastery, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe for the words of mastery as well. We'll check that out. If I go to minstrel traceries. Browse barter. Let's see. I need more. I need more of those. Just need a bunch. Uh, I need to go here. They're unique. So you can only have one. And you can't have the same one on your book and your weapon. You'll bet there'll be some way to convert your old allies to the new system, like the Summer's Fair tokens went for Farmer's Fair tokens. Maybe. Festival Junkie. <laughs> yeah. So, um... Easy to assume. Yeah. But it means there's not a lot of... Like... There's not too many to choose from. Is what I'm saying. Like you have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty on this page, and then five, so twenty-five different uh traceries to choose from for your twelve slot. So pick twelve out of twenty-five. Is basically what it is. Just wait for all you wonderful Lotro content creators to put out YouTube how-to videos to educate the masses on the changes. Yeah, we'll see. Only halfway here, because doing wiki at the same time, just to make sure you understand, adding traceries currently is barter, and you get them in your inventory and drag and drop. That might be- that's subject to change, Eldoleth, but currently the only way to apply traceries in Bullroar is to pull your weapon or your- uh, class item to the essence removal slot here, and that brings up the socket control panel. I think this is just a temporary thing to enable you to... They currently function as essence slots. That's why you, you're using this UI. I'm assuming that you will get your own separate UI 
uh, system for these that might be easier to look at because this this is kind of hard on the eyes. <laughs> I was hoping that it would at least gather all the tactical mastery rating in one go so you could see like the full like the the gathered amount that you have on the weapon. Um Stina. that would be nice. But I don't know. That is subject to change. Definitely. Stina, can you hear me? Yes, hi. Um, the, the class slots on the book. Yes. So because there's so many useful ones, this means that minstrels won't need to swap to like healing book or whatever. They can just make a, a multi-purpose book. Right. They have to, because you won't be able to swap them in combat. Right. Exactly. But that, yeah. that's, that's how they're alleviating some of the swapping here. Yeah. But that's good. Do you want to go through and, and equip the book with uh, traceries as well? So that at least I can have like a suggestion for a build when this goes live? Well, it's probably going to change a bit, but I don't know. I mean, this is going to go open to everybody tomorrow, so... Yeah, that's also true. That is also true. And I should get to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I should go to bed. Okay. Um, thanks for the help earlier. It was nice to get into the system and, and set it up that way. At least now I have a... Yeah, the last slot is probably going to unlock. Uh, you guys can see it here. There. There's a locked slot on the weapon, which is probably going to unlock once the weapon is the new level cap. Um, just like that. Just one more turn. I know. You should! It's late here, so it's late there. So Bulwer will open to the rest of you tomorrow. Yes, it will. Patch notes are out. I'm gonna copy-paste them in chat. These are the early access preview patch notes. There might be new ones tomorrow. Um, yeah. <laughs> but so far, it's looking, um, it's looking easier. To me, at least. It feels easier. I'm just wondering how hard is it going to be to get the uh, cracked Morgul tracery items? Yeah. Also, and um, the the books. The what I was saying scripts. earlier was that this is for people who don't really get into the LIs, or whatever. Some it might be easier for some people, but there are a lot of people who don't get into essence gear as well. True. Yeah. Then and they absolutely avoid it at all costs, no matter what, because they don't understand essences. They don't understand their so they're gonna have the same problem with this. Yeah. So I mean sure this can be easier, but for those people who avoid the that type of stuff, they're gonna have the same problem. Yeah, true. But hopefully they're gonna make some sort of like introductory tutorial information about it as well so that it's a little bit more easy to understand maybe hopefully <laughs> <laughs> we'll see anyway, i spent some time i, just, want, uh, I right? just wanted to see if you had done any more on it but i guess you didn't you went uh, the to book? the brawler no, no, I, no. I went into you brawler went, yeah yeah was the brawler interesting? It was actually. It was. It was quite fun. It has. Um... It will be overpowered at the start, so everybody buys it. So. Of course. But it has uh, the only ranged skill it has. It throws a random item, like it throws a boot or a piece of plank or a a beer stein <laughs> <laughs> at the enemy or a shield. Um. Yeah, that was quite funny. And one of the skills also actually lifts the mobs from the ground, like an, an uppercut where they actually are raised a little nice. bit from the ground. It's quite fun. The <laughs> effects on the brawler are really fun to, to look at. That's cool. Okay, do you guys want me to... I'm going to log back to the brawler and show you a last one last time. Fine. Fine. If, you attack, if you attack a training but, but, uh, dummy, does it lift up? 
No, sadly, no. It doesn't <laughs> go very high either. It doesn't go super high either. It's just like a, a slight jump from from the ground. Your Stein works, yeah. <laughs> Good night, little head Ed. There's one less person keeping up with questions. Have a great night. Thank you. You too. Thanks for being here. Alright, so... I basically spent a lot of time learning how bull roar works in the terms of gearing up and I getting see. deeds and, and things like that. Yeah, and, um, <laughs> this is your first time. That's funny. Yeah. But it has a stance that increases the melee damage by 15%, but also decre decreases your physical mitigation by 128,000 rating. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bull roar newbie. It has a... Uh, removal that you can alternate with um so i made some uh traceries on the weapon and on the class item i didn't finish them but it's mostly focused on might physical mastery some crit and um what else Shrug it off is the uh, the disease wound fear uh, poison removal, and you can you can make it remove an extra um, an extra disease by uh, a tracery class tracery. So that's nice. And if I go click a dummy. Let's go! So, the punching sounds are quite fun. And you build up something called metal. And mighty upheaval looks really fancy. Smashes and it also will... I, I like uh, the boxing animation, that's cool. The punching yeah, animation. it looks really cool. And the mighty upheaval will, will do a knockback on them. Like, all the enemies will, will fall to the ground. 50% chance. Then you have Fist of the Valar, which deals 10% bonus damage for each point of metal it consumes. So if you stack up and you have a full 9 metal, it deals a decent amount of damage. Oh, let's let's do the throwing. That was a beer stein. <laughs> Has a long cooldown though, so you can't use it very often, but. Next up is a piece of a plank. Knee strike. Has some cool animations. Um, Fulgrim strike is the interruption. And now I threw a boot. <laughs> and yeah, Brawler only has two trait lines, technically. You can only specialize into two of them, and the last one is uh, like a supportive supportive trait line. There, I threw a shield. Yeah, it's just then, yeah. Um, the, a secondary trait line you can pull things from, so... Yeah. Uppercut is the one that knocks the enemy into the air slightly, but the dummy doesn't go into the air, sadly. Anyone know when Bullroar is opening to everyone tomorrow? Uh... No, but I can ask. They may just open it tonight, too. Who knows? Assault buff. Yeah, it has a lot of um, buffs that you can do, self buffs, and also some really nice fellowship buffs. But if you are alone, the buff will be increased and go to yourself instead. Like, if the brawler is alone, gain 25% damage, but if it's in a fellowship, um, uh, a strike as one affects fellowship members and the brawler and gives them 10% damage. So it's like 10% to all fellowship members, or 25% to yourself, if you're alone. So it's quite fun. There's a restart starting at 9am, maybe after? 
Yeah, tomorrow's down time is a weekly restart, so it might not be related. Um, backhand clout is a AOE spell as well. Oh yeah, let me get an overview of the AOE spells. So this one, max targets three. Uppercut is an AOE spell. Um, Raw Fury is... You temporarily forgo all technique in order to launch a series of basic strikes with furious strength behind them. Setup attacks gain damage for 10 seconds. So the setup attacks are the ones that give you metal. These three first ones. Mm, armor break is a single target. That's the throwing one. Heal proc, joy of battle. Uh, decrease incoming damage. And gain a stacking damage buff with each hit taken up to a maximum of 10 stacks. So you do more damage the more hits you take. So it's good to use it at the beginning of an AoE fight. Quick faint. Uh, sudden faint leaves your enemy off balance and grants you the metal to quickly finish them. Plus 20% melee damage. And it also gives you three metal. Which is nice. I should use that more often. Helm's hammer is the corruption removal. Uh... Removes one tier of up to three different corruption effects from the target. First strike is a quick strike best used on hail adversaries. Target must have greater than 80% of their maximum health. It's quite a high damage. Um, Battle Fury. Let's see. Battle Fury. For short duration, Battle Flow or Enhanced Battle Flow deals an additional 5% damage per metal. I'm not sure about... Battle flow, if that's a type of attack. Heavy attacks, inner strength, quick attacks, setup attacks. I don't know. I don't know what battle flow is yet, but it's a text about it. Fulgrim Strike is an interrupt skill with a 30 second cooldown, which you can take down to 20 seconds with um, talent points. Pummel is a channel skill that does fire damage every second. Overhand Smash does impressive damage. Knee Strike kind of looks cool. You kick him in kick them with your knee. And Helm Crusher is a three second stun. So it has, it seems to be like very versatile. I really like their work on the animation, so it looks good. Yeah, it looks great. I can see how this is gonna be a, a desired class, a class to play. Yeah. Just because of the animations, <laughs> people are gonna want it for fun. Yeah, I've only checked out the damage spec, um, and I haven't filled it out fully either. Um, but the blue line is like a, a raid support, fellowship support type class, which focuses more on defenses um, and debuffs of the enemy. So yeah. There's there's lots of stuff, lots of more things to look at there. But how do you cancel combat with a training dummy? Can you? Uh, you can't. You have to maybe zone out or. Okay. Blue's also tankish. Has a couple. Of He's up for three minutes. Ah, okay. There's also traceries that give you more threat generation. So I'm assuming maybe it could be used as a tank. Or yeah, an off tank. That's, that's what the blue line is. It's tanking. And the um, in the um, patch notes, it said that the blue is on defense and debuffs. That's the focus for blue line. Yeah. Lowering your enemy's attack speed, increasing your own vitality, buffing your critical rating, and more. 
Oh yeah. It'll be fun to see. Defense is classic tank. Alright. Okay. I think that a brawler tank would be fun. Like, a lot of fun to play, actually. I think so. Alright, we are going to call it for the night. Um, 